The Lange area of Piedmont is special. It has landscapes that make you go, wow. It has the best wines and restaurants, amazing towns and villages, castles, and farmhouses, big farmhouses. In the past, a lot of Swiss people came and bought and restored these farmhouses. Then the Brits and the Germans came. Now it's next to impossible to find houses to restore, and it's rare to find restored stuff for sale. Today I want to present to you a rare and beautiful gem. Welcome to Langer Property, I'm Richard Edwards. Around 19 years ago, when I was a lot younger and maybe thinner, I helped a wonderful couple from London buy a big U-shaped farmhouse. It needed a lot of work, but they did it. A few years later and about a million euros plus spent, they've enjoyed the property for all those years, but life changes and now they're set to sell. The location is simply stunning. It's why these smart people made this time and financial investment all those years ago. Is it calm? Yes, completely undisturbed. The nearest neighbour is a wine producer, mostly organic, and his winery won an architect's award. Not bad. And then there's a local area. You've got a town just a few minutes away, or less than 10 minutes, uh, for all your everyday needs. And there are other towns, bigger towns close by. For example, 20, 25 minutes and you're in Alba and the Barolo area, and just one and a half hours from the coast. So it's just perfect. Shall we take a look at some photographs? You have this beautiful big infinity pool right in front of the house. The stonework around the house, the, the courtyard is just perfect. And there's this fantastic feature like this pagoda, a uh, wooden pagoda. Then on the other side, you've got this beautiful uh, pizza oven. And the house is all constructed from Langer stone. The land is around 10,000 square meters or 2.5 acres. There's a whole variety of trees, including olive, hazelnut, peaches, nectarines, apricots, plums, and apple. There are also raised beds for vegetables. Get your dog sniffing around and you'll find truffles as well. And now let's take a closer look at the house, just in case you're not already convinced. You can more or less divide the house in two. You have the two main living areas. The left side, looking toward the house, is more for guests, and the right side is for the owners. Let's start with the left side. Here's the ground floor plan. We have a large bathroom with shower that serves the pool and the guest bedroom next to it. And then we have another bedroom with a bathroom and then another bedroom and a kitchen. The kitchen is equipped with dishwasher, washing machine, gas cooker, etc. And it's all in beautiful condition and the owners are willing to leave pretty much everything, furniture, etc. They'll only take personal items and some artwork. Let's look at the floor above. Here's the plan of the uh, first floor. We come up the stairs into this very nice lounge with stunning views over the pool. There's a balcony. Then next to this is a studio, a bathroom, and then this beautiful big bedroom. And it really is just beautiful because it floods with light. It has a stunning view over the house of one side and then to the other side over the landscape. Let's take a look on the other side of the house. Again, here's the plan for that. On the ground floor, we have this beautiful kitchen. 
Keep in mind that it's quite often in Italy that owners will strip the place bare when they sell it. But here, like I said before, everything is stain. Next to the kitchen, we have this simple and elegant dining room. It's just full of charm. Then we have the stairway. Now the stairs are numbered, and I don't know why. By all means, drop me a comment if you have some ideas, because the owners didn't tell me why they put numbers on the stairs. So if you've got an opinion on that, I'd love to hear from you. Then next to this, we have this beautiful living room. And again, this floods with light from three sides and four if the doors open. And it has this beautiful outside area and stairs that lead to the pool, all again in Langer stone. So, okay, let's take a trip up the stairs and we'll count the steps up as we go. On this level, we have three beautiful bedrooms and a bathroom. Again, all done with real farmhouse character, simple and elegant. Let's go back outside the house and we come to this building just behind. And this is a restored hayloft and tractor shed. And there's parking here for two cars. And I'm sure you could close the garages in with doors if you wanted that, if you have precious cars. And above is this relaxing or play area. You can see there's a table, tennis table here. So great for kids to enjoy themselves up in this area or just a place to get some more tranquility and relax. But let's move back to the house again. And we want to go underneath this time. And this is underneath the right side of the house. And here we have the cellar. It houses the heating systems, water pumps and filtration system. The heating is LPG gas, and there's also uh, energy from the solar panels to heat the water when the sun's shining. And then next to this is this beautiful wine cellar. And uh, this, this is again fully restored, all in Langer stone. It's very, very beautiful. I think the owners are probably going to take the wine though. It's worth mentioning that there's a local couple that take care of the property, the cleaning, the garden, etc., and they're fantastic. They do a lot of work for the current owners. It would be your choice if you wanted to retain them, but I highly recommend them because they're very nice, honest people. And that's about it. All of that for 1,350,000 euros. Now there are more details on my website and I'm happy to set up a viewing for you with the agent if you want to come and see it. Now at this point, I please, please want to ask a huge favor. Can you please click subscribe and like? It will really help me to bring more houses to you, more creativity and great content for you to watch. Thank you so much for your support so far. Now I do plan to make a proper walkthrough video of this house as soon as I can, but I also think it will sell very quickly. Now you might think that summer is when all the houses sell, but no, winter is a really hot time. This is when the really serious buyers come. The current owners of this house viewed the house for the first time on the 26th of December. It, it was snowing, so you need to move fast. Be sure to look out for future videos and be sure to watch my buyer's guide because it's full of useful information if you're buying a house anywhere in Italy. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. See you soon.